Phil Donnellan, I am the lead park ranger here at Jennings Randolph Lake. One of my favorite parts of working is be able to meet and greet the people that come to the project. And again, if a large project, if you get a million visitors a year, you may spend a little time with that each person just to say, okay, this is where you park, here's a visitor center, here's what you can do. What you find at a small project, literally I can interact with people and I can have a half hour conversation, an hour conversation with that person. And so I found that working here at Jenny Randolph Lake, I've been able to meet people now 35 years ago as uh, adults and now I have seen their children come back. I've seen their grandchildren come back. They become part of your family. And so that's what I enjoy about the, the job. I think Bill's legacies around the park, definitely the challenge hunt that we have here. He started that in 2006, so that's definitely been um, a really big program for this park. We've done it every year. Bill has been able to give the opportunity to our nation's veterans and physically disabled um, the chance to hunt when they otherwise couldn't have done so due to physical limitations. Um, over the past 17 years of this hunt, he has provided that opportunity to almost 200 hunters. So I think that's his biggest legacy. Um, Bill started here whenever, we always joke this place was a pond. So he's had a hand in basically every decision that's been made here. All the rec areas, Bill's had a hand in creating those areas and everything you see today at Jennings Randolph Lake, he's been a part of. I've been able to see this project grow from when I literally first started here, and some people find that amusing, that when I first got here is we had no beach area, there was no swim area, it did not exist. The campground was on paved roads, it was, it was designed for primitive campground, there was no electricity, it was vault toilets. So I've taken some, uh, some pride in to be able to work with staff members, project managers, district personnel to be able to say, okay, what improvements do we, can we make here within our budget? Um, there was always a complaint here at Jenny Randolph Lake, is you have a beautiful 952 acre lake, there's no place to go swimming. We didn't have any beach area. Again, working with district elements, they were like, pick a location for where that beach was. And literally, I took a piece of paper and pen did a pencil drawing of that beach area. It's like, I think the parking lot should go here, and the beach should go over here, and that's what they used. You know, <laughs> so I think I saved the course of money and, and some design features, but I still have that little pencil drawing, and that's pretty much what they were able to use as design of the beach. So that, that was kind of a neat project to work on. The thing I'm going to miss most about Bill is his mentorship and his leadership. Um, you know, like I said, everything I know about being a park ranger, I've learned from Bill. Uh, he's always been one that you can come to with, you know, any question that you have, um, he's always right there to answer and uh, it's going to be hard to lose someone with that much knowledge, but um, hopefully I can do a good job and fill his shoes here at the project and um, definitely miss the friendship, you know, um, being able to come in on weekends and do our weekend programs, you know, Bill always made sure that this was a really fun work environment. Um, Having Sunday cookouts or get-togethers after work has always been something that uh, I've looked forward to in the summer, um, and I'm really going to miss that. just want to say thank you for mentoring me and for the friendship that we have, and I will definitely miss you. Tell you what, I will not miss opening and closing gates. <laughs> For 38 years, I've closed a lot of gates.